Chapter 1. Towards the Modern Atomic Model. Part 1. 1. 1. With the force model and scattering experiments. Let's begin. How are the straws distributed? It is a black box. To find out what is inside the black box, marbles are shot and their subsequent motions are observed. Similarly, Atoms and nuclei are also black boxes to scientists. Subatomic particles are shot towards an atom to investigate the structures of atoms and nuclei. Here are two boxes with some straws suspended inside in two different ways. In one box, the straws are scattered. In the other box, the straws are concentrated at the center. The boxes are now covered and mixed so that we could not identify them. We project a metal ball through the narrow opening of each box. Observe from which side of the box the ball will come out. Can you tell the arrangement of the straws inside the box according to your observation? Uncover the boxes and do it again. The ball sometimes bounces back if all the straws are concentrated at the centre. The ball is deflected through the adjacent sides of the box if the straws are scattered evenly within the box. In the video, marbles are mostly slightly deflected when the straws are distributed evenly in a box. On the other hand, marbles mostly go straight when the straws concentrate at the center as in the second case. One, Woodford's atomic model. The scattering experiment performed by two students of Rutherford suggested the existence of nucleus with concentrated mass and positive charges. A. Geiger Marston scattering experiment. Before Rutherford's atomic model, another model called the Plum Pudding model was proposed by J. J. Thompson, consisting of electrons in a cloud of positive charge. In the Geiger Marston scattering experiment, a very thin gold foil was bombarded with alpha particles in vacuum. Most alpha particles simply go straight through, while a small number is deflected, and an even smaller number is bounced back. These results suggest that the mass and charge concentrate at a tiny point, as in the case of the second black box in the Let's Begin section. As the cloud of positive charge in Thomson's model cannot produce sufficient repulsion to alpha particles, it can hardly deflect or even bounce back the alpha particles. As the model failed to explain the result of scattering experiment, so Whitford proposed a new atomic model. B. Whitford's atomic model. Whitford's model suggested that there is a very small nucleus inside an atom, with most of the mass and positive charges concentrated there. Negative electrons orbit the positive nucleus. Helped by Coulomb force, the electrical attractive force between positive and negative charges. Using Rutherford's model, the result of the alpha scattering experiment can be explained readily. Most alpha particles may go straight through as they are far away from the tiny nucleus. A small fraction of the alpha particles, on the other hand, are closer to the nucleus and so are deflected or even bounced back along its path. C. Analog of alpha scattering. 
the scattering of alpha particles can be stimulated using the analog apparatus. The hill represents a gold atom. The curvature of the hill resembles the change in electrical potential or energy around a positive nucleus. This model can be used to simulate how alpha particle is deflected in a scattering experiment. When released at different heights, the ball bearing approaches the hill at different speed. Notice how the ball bearing is deflected. How is the angle of deflection is affected by the speed of the ball bearing. The ramp is placed at different distances from the center of the hill. The energy of the scattering alpha particle can be adjusted by releasing it at different heights. Don't forget to try the apparatus in class. You will see how the particle is scattered differently under different conditions. Do checkpoint 1 below.